Hey, what's up you guys? Matt Tebow here with Savant Marketing Agency. And in this video, we're going to talk about how much money you should be spending on advertising. You know, it's the age old question. A lot of contractors will ask us, you know, should I be spending 5% of uh, gross revenue? Should it be 10%? Should it be this magic number or that magic number? Or how much should I spend? I don't really know. You know, what, what, what kind of budget should we create for advertising? And so in this video, I'm going to share with you my personal philosophy of advertising. Obviously, I'm a little bit biased because I'm an advertiser, but I'm going to give you a really good way of thinking about this that I think it, that not a lot of people consider. Um, and I'm going to present to you some different beliefs maybe than what you're used to and uh, attempt to explain things in a way um, from the perspective of an investor instead of just like, hey, I'm just spending money and, and it's gone, right? So let's jump right into things here. Um, I'll start off by saying that with our agency, the minimum ad spend that we work with our clients is $2,000 a month. Uh, one more zero, $2,000 a month. The reason for that is just because we know the um, we know the systems, we know the market, we know that what we can do performs. Now, for some of you guys who are just starting out, two thousand a month might be a little bit bold to just start out with because maybe you're doing it yourself, uh, maybe you don't have a lot of confidence, you don't really know how to advertise, uh, and you're just not really sure, and you're just wondering to yourself, like, you know, how should I go about doing this? So here's my philosophy. Here's what you should do. So to start for any marketing campaign, I recommend that the very minimum amount that you do is around $500 to $1,000 a month in advertising. This is not spent on like marketing fees or anything. This is like your ad spend. So I recommend that you spend no less than $500 a month or $1,000. Why? Is because any less than this and you're simply just not getting enough momentum or you're not creating enough impact um, for it to actually be like a good measurable result, right? Like if you're doing like $200 a month in ad spend, it's just not enough impressions and exposure to be able to get enough data back quick enough for you to be able to see, hey, this is like working, right? So that's the first thing I would say is come up with a budget. I would say no less than this. Um, like I mentioned, with our agency, we start clients off at around 2000 a month just because we know the market, we know how to advertise, we have our proven processes. So any less than that for us is just not the type of impact that we want to make, right? So start off with around 500 to 1000 Next, what you have to do is define the amount of time that you want to market for, right? So the amount of time that I would recommend is three months. So you want to do a three month campaign. Any less than a three month campaign is a waste of time. The reason for this is because if you do a one month campaign in marketing and let's say you spend like 500 bucks, it's not enough time for you to be able to accurately measure the impact of that campaign because there are uh, seasonal differences. There are uh, delays in the amount of time it takes for you to actually close some of those leads, right? It takes more than a month. Um, it's just not enough time for you to fill up your pipeline and be able to see the full results from that. So you should always think of marketing campaigns in three month increments at the very least, right? So that's your timeline there is three months. So now that we've talked about timeline and let's say that, you know, that's going to be the budget that you want to start off with. Then the next thing you need to ask yourself is people will be like, well, how, how long do I keep that going for, right? Until I call it quits. Like, do I go for just like 12 months? Do I go for whatever? Like, how long do I go for? And so the way that I think about it is basically what you do is you run your campaign for three months. And then you run the campaign for three months. And after that three months, if you don't break even at least, then there's something wrong with the campaign. So for campaign to continue, after three months, I recommend looking at the numbers. And then if you at least break even, then that is going to be a win. 
Here's why. A lot of contractors, when they hear like break even, they're like, well, that was a failure. Like that campaign didn't work or blah, blah, blah. Here's why that kind of thinking though is wrong because anytime that you can advertise and break even from your advertising, that is a win. And here's why is because you have just acquired a customer outside of your network that doesn't know you, you don't know them. You acquired them through advertising. You got exposure through that advertising to all these people and all these seeds that have been planted that you don't know yet the full results of that because you're just looking at that small three month period and you just got paid to be able to advertise. And at the end of the day, okay, you didn't make a profit from it because you spent money on advertising and you broke even from the money you made from it, but you acquired a new customer and you can get referrals from that customer because you've now tapped into a new network, right? So if you uh, do something like door hangers, you hit five houses to the left, five houses to the right of the house that you got from your advertising, then you just acquired a new customer and you acquired into their new network from advertising. Um, and this is how you're able to grow, right? And so let's say in that three months there, you invested, I don't know, $3,000 into advertising spend, right? So you did that $3,000 and let's say that you broke even on that $3,000, right? So that would be kind of like a low profit, right? Like you, you're not making any profit, $3,000, but you are able to get some new customers for that and get into a new network. Well, then what I would recommend is do another three months but do it at $4,000, right? So now at least you're breaking even. So now you're going to up it a thousand dollars more in that three months. And then maybe you get more and more comfortable because you break even again, then you can do 6,000 and then you could do 7,000 and you can keep doing this until you scale to the point where you reach what I call, this is called the ad cliff. So what is the ad cliff? The ad cliff, what I call, is where when you reach a point where you're spending so much money in ad spend per month that you're actually just beating out your competition completely because nobody can afford to spend that much money on advertising profitably or be able to spend that much money and not be at a loss, right? So as long as you're even just breaking even on your ad spend, you should just keep spending more until you can't because breaking even, at least you are acquiring customers. You're going to be able to get referrals and you're gaining market share, right? So a lot of contractors, their perception of this is, oh, I spent this much money and we only broke even. Well, even if you're breaking even, that's still a win. And so you can just keep increasing your ad spend. If you're trying to grow, at least you can keep increasing your ad spend every single month in these three month um, campaigns and you will reach what's called the ad cliff where you're spending a certain amount of money per month on ad spend where other people can no longer afford to compete with you. And this is where the real profit is made because there, there is a threshold that you will reach where um, now you're basically just getting so much exposure. Maybe you're at the top of Google with Google ads or your Facebook ads are being shown so much that now um, you're just getting pretty much the most exposure possible, right? And so once you reach that point, a lot of other advertisers can't even afford to compete with you at this point. And so you're basically just saturating the market with your advertisements. And this is where, you know, you can start getting some really, really good numbers. So anyway, like this is how I think about things. I hope that this makes sense. Um, so I would basically say, you know, run your campaign for three months with an ad spend that you're comfortable with. Um, if you, if you're trying to go on the low end, do 500 to a thousand a month, run that for three months, see if you can at least break even if you can do better then that's amazing. Um, and then increase the ad spend and do another three months and see if you can break even there and just keep doing that, that process. And eventually once you get a process that really works, then you can just keep scaling the ad spend until you reach a point where you're happy with the amount of um, money you're bringing in from it or the amount of growth that you're getting from it. So that's the way that I see it is that there's no magic number of amount you're supposed to invest. 
Basically, what you're supposed to do is invest an amount of money into advertising, see what comes back. And if you can keep investing and getting that money back and then some, then you should just keep investing it until you reach a point that you can no longer afford or you do no, no longer want to continue to grow from that. So I hope that that makes sense. If you have any questions about this, you can comment below, share your thoughts. If you have another way of seeing it, I would love to know as well. Um, other than that, guys, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you on the next one.